Zach Bortat, Director of Trauma Preparedness. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, what made you choose this show particularly? Well, there's a lot of factors that always go into uh, selection for a season. You want something that is a good fit for your department, mm -hmm. but you also want it to challenge students to grow. And so I thought that this was um, well designed for students to bring a sense of truth to it, mm -hmm. but also to subvert expectations. Because while it's a comedy, there's a lot that it says socially. So it's kind of, it reminds me of a Breakfast Club for a modern age though because it sets up these stereotypes and then it uh, encourages the audience and the cast to dig deeper and mm. see past what we judge on the cover of the person. Nice. So yeah, very cool. Do you have something that inspires you artistically? Or someone? Ah, uh, I think, I think uh, my wife is a safe answer because I always say she's the more artistically talented one. She's that triple threat. She can sing, dance, and act, and uh, I feel like my talents are just in acting, and they're not even that well developed there. But um, I would say probably it goes back to high school, a high school drama teacher. There were, um, I was an overachiever in school, and uh, Drama was the only thing that uh, made me excited to get up in the morning um, mm. because it gave me a, a sense of community with others, sort of this instant uh, belonging, and it was always something different. And I loved exploring uh, different characters and finding uh, new aspects of uh, humanity that mm. uh, I wasn't familiar with. So, Cool. Um, and what do you like the best about directing? Uh, I think what I like best about directing is uh, helping the actors discover the choices they have mm -hmm. within themselves. I feel like most of the directors I've had kind of fall into one of two categories, either the type that uh, dictate like everything you do. Mm -hmm. I try to be more of an actor's director, so mm -hmm. I try to present it to them uh, in terms of these are options you have and uh, I don't want to tell you how to do everything. Let's mm. find um, the strength uh, within yourself that mm. you can bring to this character. And so I think seeing actors discover that is really rewarding and it's part of what drives you to be a teacher too. So. Yeah, that's great. And it makes it more of like a collaborative experience. Yeah, 100%. That's yeah. awesome. Do you think, this is a comedy, mm -hmm. do you think comedies are more difficult for actors and directors or are dramas more difficult? I. Personally, I, uh, pr I heard a lot of the cast say, well, they're different, and so I think <laughs> that's, that's absolutely right. Uh, requires different tools, different skill sets. Yeah. Um, I would say comedy can be, is sometimes undervalued. Mm. Um, I think uh, comic timing is something that, it's, it's really almost a science, mm. and so you have to fine tune a lot of moments to make sure, because a second too early, second too late, and you miss the laugh. Right. So I think comedy is really challenging in that aspect. Uh, drama is kind of nice because uh, you can just kind of, if you're the type of actor that loves getting emotional, it you can really just kind of go to town and have fun <laughs> in the uh, emotions and uh, that aspect of it. So I would say sometimes drama offers a certain freedom that mm. sometimes comedy doesn't. Mm. Um, but some people uh, may be more inclined towards their comic sensibilities and they may not like um, putting their feelings on display mm. uh, in, in a drama. So again, just, just different challenges. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to how uh, people respond to it. So. Yeah, I'm excited too. Thank you so much, Zach. Yeah. No, thank you for your time. Yeah.